I came here to participate in a discussion about security challenges for the OSCE. And I think my point of view, which I said in the discussion, was that it's time now for the OSCE to be very pragmatic, to look at its foundations, not focus too much on some grand future, but rather look very in concrete fashion at the challenges and dealing with them on the basis of the Helsinki Final Act. I'll give you a good example, the Caucasus, where the OSCE has had missions for over 20 years now, and with very little result. The idea that we're going to somehow come up with some new method of, through diplomacy of negotiating a settlement is probably wrong. What we need is to build from the ground up, to build civil society, to deal with the governments and the peoples there, to start dialogues rather than trying to do some diplomatic solution. That's sort of my approach to most of these things. The so-called classic diplomatic solutions where you have a representative, you come up with a paper, you do a negotiation, they're really not going to work for these kind of conflicts. The way that the OSC was put together was first there was a meeting in Finland in a place called Dipoli. This would have been in 1970-71 in which sort of tasks for the future security conference were written down. They were then taken to Geneva beginning in the summer of 1973 and um, with very slow, very um, deliberate speed or lack thereof, sort of focused and turned into text. And during that period, the idea that the, the OSCE would not be a security conference, but a security and cooperation conference and that it would develop this comprehensive approach to security. My impression was that it came out of the discussions, almost by osmosis. And it ended up being a really very useful and a very strong concept, which is, as far as I'm concerned, serves its purposes until this day. And one of the reasons why this OSC is important, one of the reasons why the final act should be left as it is, one of the reasons why there shouldn't be any effort towards legalization of the final act, which I know some people want to do, is because you will never get such a firm, almost watertight, comprehensive document as was negotiated back there 40 years ago. It just won't happen for, for a whole lot of reasons. So one of the goals that all of us should have is to protect sort of the sanctity of the final act as the foundation of this effort, not just because of the organization, but because it is really a foundation for a different kind of approach to security, which. I'm quite sure it never could be renegotiated again today.